we sort of knew one another because we were the same homeroom, but the first date was on a, a hayride that she had asked me on. Yes, sophomore year when uh, we went on a hayride. The hay it was the first time I was ever on a hayride. It was like love at first sight. We always were together from, uh, you know, whenever we, we went out, we never did things separately. It was always uh, as a couple from when we first, first date, started dating. The junior prom, that was very special. I was his date and uh, it was a whole new experience getting so dressed up. And we got in trouble. You're, you weren't allowed to go out and after the prom you had to go right home. And we went, it was a motel but not, it was a, um, a bar and we went for, um, for shrimp cocktails. We, were, we graduated in 60, we were married in 62. We never actually had a big proposal. I was going to hairdressing school. He was working as a contractor, or working with a contractor. And we knew we had to earn money before we could ever make that step. But two years later, after high school, we got engaged and got married. It was back then, it was, you had a whole bunch of people. Uh, I think back then we had over 300 and kids and all came. It, you invited the family. So it was more like a class reunion along with being a wedding. As a matter of fact, they started a club at my wedding, girls that hung around together, and we're still together today, 55 years later. And it was uh, sandwiches, well, like uh, roast beef sandwiches. sandwiches pizza, and potato salad, and a lot of good Italian homemade cookies and a great big beautiful wedding cake with like six tiers. We were so young when we got married and that was about learning, getting mature in the sense that you're not always right. We learned true communication and that's what, that and keeping God in our lives. That was the most important thing. With God we could handle any of the problems. Billy was born in 1964. I, I never was nervous about being a mom. I never thought about of a career. Back then, you, you thought of what you were going to do was be a mom. Uh, I, I guess with your first one, you know how you show them off, dressing them, and you know taking them places. Billy was the apple of his eye. And Dana came, and I was just so excited that I had a little girl. The only problem I had was when I first came home from the hospital, Billy was used to being an only child, and then came this little pink bundle, and I remember he bit her finger, and I screamed, and I, you know, I, I sat down and talked to him and explained to him how he could have really hurt her, and it never ever happened again. And it was just, uh, I guess his way of saying, she can go now, but uh, found out she was staying. We had Derek, and Derek was every mom's dream of a little boy. You just had fun with Derek. And I the three, three of them always got along from, you know, when they were able to to talk to, you know, till, till now. I, I can't say I, I ever seen them or, you know, heard of where they had an animosity against one another. They, yeah. He was the guy that could always get a baby to go to sleep. He was as interested as I was, even though he was working hard, he still always made time. I used to work from 9 in the morning till 9 at night, and very I didn't see them that much. You know, it was a rarity when I came home uh, that, uh, you know, the kids were up. It was always family time Sunday. Most of the time we would go to church, stop at my mother's, and then go over to her mother's or her sister. The nicest part about the, the, him with his children was the fact that he got involved with all their activities. What I thought was the best time of my life was having my own children. I found out that there was something even better, and that was when I started having the gift of grandchildren. That was just the highlight for both of us. With the grandkids, it's a surprise to hear that, that you know, the, expecting that when you see them, Especially the first time when you go to the hospital, when you see them through the through the glass and all it, uh, it you know, to look at them and 
and, and the, you know that's this part of me. It, uh, the favorite vacation we had is when we went to Disneyland. You know, with a holiday, the more people though they're they're, they're in. because at our age you don't know if there's going to be another one or if there's going to be a next one. So the more there is, the, the happier that uh, you are. I found out what the important things are and not waste time on all the little things that aren't important. What's important is just being together. Anybody who says they never had a rough time through a relation is, is full of bull. You know, we, we work through our, uh, through our disagreements. We both wanted to win. And uh, you had to learn how to realize that it's not about winning. But that comes along with age and maturity. I was more stubborn back then, hard-headed, like my way or no and way. Today, I, it, it, I, I feel like I, sh I like giving in to her or sat satisfying her is more of a pleasure than a satisfaction for me. Because she always puts me before herself. We both like to cook, and he's as good a cook as I feel as though I am, but. Uh, he just likes to take out every tool we own, and I have a fit because I'm thinking about the cleanup duty, and I want to try and bypass some of that. And the best part was give him his job, and I do mine, and stay out of the way, and things go well. I guess I was kind of hard-headed, stubborn. My prayer for my marriage was that my children always stay close, that they have good health, and they keep God in their life. They're my three wishes, my three prayers.